Hello! Okay, hey, it's been a hot minute since I've recorded something. Uh, had a big, uh, multi-day power outage. It was, uh, very interesting. So that's why I wasn't uploading for the last two weeks on all three channels. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea if this video is gonna go up first or the Rune Factory 4 one. But I digress. I was super excited because we're finally entering the hype season of the new Pokemon game, Scarlet and Violet. And I kind of wanted to look at it. Apparently it's like a three minute video. Maybe there's more, I have no idea. I tried to like not look at spoilers until I was able to get home. But yeah, I don't want to, you know, make this video longer than it needs to be. So uh, let's go look at this three minute trailer of Scarlet and Violet. And I hope this isn't loud. We'll see. Okay, so we got some gameplay. Or, it's not final, but it's gameplay, okay? Alright, we got two emblems. There's some theories about this being like a, a time-based thing. Oh, wait, oh, different prof- Wait, that's kind of based. I kind of like that. Hold on. Okay, this looks cute. And the models look more, um, look, look less Pokemon-like, if that makes sense. Also, is this- Wait, wait, do we have a girl rival? When was the last time we had a girl rival? I, does Shauna count? Hello? Oh, is it like multiple? Wait, more rival? I, you know what? Actually, if that's the case, I kind of like that. I'm not sure what it entails though. Okay. What is that? Oh, new Pokemon! Budu 2! Yo! I love Budu 2! Oh, okay. Critical capture. Good. Nice. Okay, they're running. Oh, Piggy. I saw this on Twitter. I, I unfortunately was... The LeChonk! <laughs> I didn't think it was real for a second because I... Just the just the name LeChonk felt like such a shit post. Oh, it, uh, yo, they brought Choodle back. <laughs> hey, yo, okay, okay. I'm not gonna diss Choodle fans. Choodle's cool, but like, uh, it, it, it's Choodle. Did they bring Petalil back? I feel like I saw Petalil, or maybe I'm Copium. Oh, they brought Toxapex back. Okay. All right, all right, Game Freak. Lorantis, Talonflame. Okay. This looks kind of cool. Is that it? Oh, wait, no. Are they going to show Legends? Oh, they might. Oh, is this the same approach they did with the Arceus? Trailer? Wait. Okay. Hello? What? Wait a second. Jetpack Pokemon? Wait, I, I kinda- I kinda like that. Oh wait, okay, are those the box- is that the box art? Oh wait, I kinda vibe with that, not gonna lie. November 18th, okay yeah, November 18th is a the standard time to release a Pokemon game for them, I feel. Yeah, it was just this trailer, okay. This is kinda hype. I like the idea of two professors, or uh, the different professor for uh, the, the region. I kind of dig the new uh, art style for the models. I feel like the main characters still look really derpy. Yeah, there's just something about their eyes that make them look so small in comparison to like the other characters. I'm not sure what this means though, because these all look like very basic designs. I do like the girl with the hat though. This, this, I doubt it, but this tells me it's like a four player Pokemon game or something. <laughs> just something about like the lack of dialogue and the simplistic character designs that make me feel like they're all like playable characters in some sense. I don't know. Just from looking at the ambience and stuff, it gives me a lot of Gen 6, Gen 7 vibes, if that makes sense. I think having a girl rival again is very based. Oh, I just noticed this is a new Pokemon. Hold up. These, these Pokemon centers look whack as hell, though. They look like rest stops, which is kind of cool, but I don't know. It, it's... All right, so that was my reaction to the second trailer of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. At first glance, I don't want to say anything too early, but this looks cooler than Sword and Shield. I feel like immediately this trailer has more personality than the entirety of Sh Sword and Shield. We'll have to see when the game comes out, of course, because this is just like, you know, a first look or, or a second look, excuse me. I'm not going to talk about the graphics because I'm not a graphics guy. I'm just hoping that like graphics aside, I'm hoping they get like a, a nice ambiance. I think the settings are very important too. Going off, off the top of that, it, it looks like a whole lot of nothing right now which is something I'm worried about. I'm worried that the world will feel too empty in between the towns, because, like, even the towns in, like, the first trailer looked very simplistic, very empty, and now it doesn't seem like too much a chain, except you can see, like, more buildings in the back, but other than that, very exciting time to be in. Looking forward to see where this game goes, 
and I should probably get to finishing Legends Arceus and Shining Pearl.